Hey guys, it's your girl here, Candy Faces MUA, and today I have tried the new makeup trend, the cloud makeup look. Even through a little, little glitter, you know, hoping that it would represent the rain, the rain coming out of the clouds. I had to do my own little spin to this trend. You know what I'm saying? But if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, if you hit that bell below, you'll be notified each time I upload. And I do appreciate all the love and support that you guys have been giving me so far. And so, if you'd like to see how I achieved this look, then you just keep on watching. Mm -hmm. Thank you again for your support. Guess what, y'all? Details to this look is coming soon. What, what? Okay, so I did my brows off camera and I, now I'm going to go into that Stacey Marie Carnival palette. Grab that shade called Sky. And I'm going to place Sky into my crease area. I like to tap that product on and then blend it out and I just keep blending and blending away, hunty. Next, I'm going to grab this shade called Mint, and I'm going to put it at the very tip right above Sky, and I'm going to use it to blend it in. Blend, 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 blend. gonna go for that darker blue shade and put it in the outer V area next I'm gonna add my IFX base from Ambrosia Cosmetics and I'm gonna use this to create my my little cloud that brush is the flower brush from Drew Barrymore. I picked it up at Walmart and I love that brush. So I'm trying to do it at a, a circular motion at the top to create my cloud. Clouds in my coffee. Clouds in my coffee. Okay, it's coming together. I love this IFX base. I really do. It's it's a little on the expensive side. Well, the shipping anyway, but that's because it's not in the country. It's in the islands. So, but I do love it. I need to get some more of that. But I still have plenty, so that's awesome. Okay. Okay, girl, I see you. I see you. Right now, I'm just letting it dry. Just letting it dry a bit. Then I'm going to go into my P. Louise palette. And grab that white shade called Charm. And I'm placing Charm on top of that Ambrosia Cosmetics IFX base. Going back, getting that darker blue shade. And I'm placing that shade, you know, slightly over the cloud so it can look realistic. Now I have my Vivid Lights eyeliner and I'm just using this to create like little stars but I wanted like a little purple look to this you know instead of just using white I was just you know trying to get my creative juices flowing Next, I'm going to use my little 
e.l.f. shadow base. And I'm going to use this same install from that, that NYX Vivid Lights. And I put a little white on there from the e.l.f. base. So that we can have some purple and white stars in the sky. That crayon, that eye crayon is from KISS. It had a little glimmer, a little glimmer, shimmer look to it. It had a little glitter in it. So I love that aspect. Next, I have my palette from Naked Cosmetics, the holographic palette. And I'm putting that, add a little bling to this look. Bling, bling. Okay, so in the corners, I'm using that blue shade. So pretty. Full. Now I'm going to go into that same naked palette, add that purple shade, and I'm going to put it in my brow bone area, and it really set this, it really set that bone area off off nice because it looked like you know a little galaxy feel using the holographics on top of the stars now i'm just cleaning my face a bit I'm gonna add my foundation and when i did prime the skin before i didn't get it on video but yes i did using two shades from wet and wild i used the toffee and the cocoa putting the toffee on first and then I'm going to add the cocoa so I can have two different shades and then I'm going to blend them in of course My son kept bothering me. So I was like, I'm put you on my tutorial. He's like, no. Like, stop bothering me. You know, you know what I'm doing. Okay. Don't bother me. Let me be in my zone. Let me get done. Okay. I got my dampen beauty blender. Now I got my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Cool Tan, and I'm going to use that to put it over the areas I want to highlight a little bit more. And then I'm going to set it with the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. Now I have my Anastasia Beverly Hill Powder Contour Set in Tan to Deep. Do a little bit of contouring on my face. I still have this Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder on there because I want to, you know...
I'm just still chiseling up my face to be chiseled. Get my forehead, cheeks, get that jaw. That's right, honey. Get that nose, girl. Get it. Get it. Get it. Now I'm just brushing that Sasha Buttercup setting powder off of my face. Looking nice. Looking very nice. Now time to add some blush and I'm gonna take this blush from Note Cosmetics. Add it on and when I put it on top of that that contour, it really it really popped. Okay, and then on top of my blush I'm gonna add my highlight. I'm going to still use that Naked Cosmetics Holographic Palette. This time I grabbed that orange, not orange. Girl, what's wrong with you? I grabbed that <laughs> purple, the purple shade. And it was so gorgeous. I really like the way this look came out. And purple, do you see that purple in that brow bone area? Okay, put it together, girl. Put it together. Tip of the nose, bridge of the nose, of course. I love to do this. Cupid's bow. That lipstick is from Milani. It was called, was it called Natural Girl? I think it was called Natural Girl. I will add everything in the description box below. All the products will be down there. Now it's time to set this look off using my All Nighter Spray from Urban Decay. <laughs> I'm feeling myself. I'm looking at it. I'm like, hmm, it's funny. I like it. I really, really like it. You know, I think I did pretty good for it being my first time, you know, ever doing this. Okay, so I took a few pics before I added my little raindrops of what you will be seeing very shortly here soon. Look at the top, y'all. It looks like a, a mini galaxy or something. I love it. Love it.
I see it, girl. Okay, so now I'm adding a little um, adhesive that came with the Candy O Love Chunky Glitter. And I'm going to add it just the way it is on the other side. You know, because I've been seeing this look trending and everyone's doing this new cloud makeup trend. And I was like, I want to add a little something. Something that I, I haven't seen. You know, I'm pretty sure it's out there, but I just haven't seen it. So... I use that blue glitter from Candio Love <laughs> and added my laundry. See, don't it look like rain? Night like this, I wish raindrops would fall. I hope you all enjoyed this look. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Candy Faces MUA. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.